guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of yarn feathered fringe earrings. Um, in this tutorial, you'll want to make sure that you have um, either one color or if you're wanting to do um, alternating so they're striped or multiple colors um, you'll want to choose the different yarn that you want you want to make sure that it is yarn um, that is going to be able to um, like fray at the end so you're gonna take a little comb and comb it out when you're all finished um, so that it can look kind of like little tiny pieces of fringe um, before we get into this, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel to see upcoming videos that we have. We do lots of jewelry tutorials, um, and please make sure you comment below if you have any questions and like this video. So let's get started. Um, so to begin, I have um, a little template that I just made out of some um, chipboard. So if you just have some scrap cardboard, you could even um, really do it out of paper. Um, and just cut the shape that you want. So I just did um, this kind of feather teardrop shape um, that I cut out. Um, I like big earrings, so I'm making these a little larger. You could certainly make them smaller if you wanted. And then I have two earring hooks. Um, and two larger jump rings. Um, these jump rings are about three eighths of an inch. Um, and, oh, I'm sorry, they're about a quarter of an inch, not three eighths of an inch, that's huge. Um, so this is what we are going to basically hang the entire feather component from. So I'm going to go ahead, and a lot of times I would hook the ear wire on at the end, but I'm going to go ahead and do that to start. Um, it'll kind of give me something to hold on to a little bit more. Um, and what I'm going to do is use um, a pair of my pliers, or you can use two pairs of pliers, open the jump ring up, make sure that you twist it, never pull your jump ring apart, and hook it onto the ear wire and close it back up the same way. So again, twist it closed completely. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other one. And for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna make one of these earrings um, on screen and then you'll see what it looks like when both are finished. So now that I have these done, I'm gonna set one to the side and um, I'm going to just use a little bit of tape, painter's tape, masking tape, scotch tape, duct tape, doesn't matter, just something to hold it down, it makes it a little easier. So I'm just taping down um, the ear wire part. So I have my jump ring right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by putting, um, choosing one of my colors as kind of like the base color. So I'm gonna do these are kind of the colors I've got here, these kind of natural colors, this burgundy, this kind of rust color, and then like a mustard yellow. Um, so, let me get these out of the way. All right, so to start, I'm gonna take one of the colors um, and I'm going to basically um, run it through the jump ring. I am going to double it over so I'm gonna make it basically two loops. So let me show you here what I've got, what I'm talking about. So I have two loops like this. Gather them together. Like. So now I'm going to um, take the two ends and put them through the jump ring Probably do one at a time here. Just like that. And you wanna make sure that they're centered. Okay, so now that I have this part done, I'm gonna actually go ahead and put a little piece of tape down here to hold this bottom part as well. It's not necessary, I just think it makes it a little easier. 
okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making our fringe sections that are gonna come out like this. And then at the end, we'll go back and trim it into um, the feather shape. So you want to start by just choosing whatever color um, you wanna start with. So I'm going to start with this kind of burgundy wine color, if I can find an end to it. And the same thing, you can either do like double it over or you can do one. I'm actually for this just gonna do one. So I'm going to cut sections that are um, about four inches in length. So here's one. And I'm gonna go through and do this with all of my colors and kind of lay them out how I want. This is going to seem a little crazy until we start putting it together. And again, still just cutting about four inch sections. And cut a few more. And we're gonna end up doing um, five on each side. So we've got, we need a yellow on this one. One, two, three, four, I'm gonna need one more. So I think I'm gonna do at the top. Actually, I'm gonna do, I lied, I'm gonna do a uh, six. No, that's probably enough. I'm always second guessing myself here. I don't like these. I'm gonna take these lighter ones out. Um. So we've got four, four, let's get two more on there and then let me show you how you start putting these together. So there's one more. Alrighty. So put that one there and I've got this last one that I'm gonna put up here. Just changing them up a little five and let's put an orange in here well, obviously it takes a little trial and error to get it you know how you want so okay I think that's gonna be good so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start by interlacing um, each one that's across from each other so I'm gonna move these last four and these four out of the way um, and then all you're gonna do is put one of your loops underneath like this. One is going to go on top like this. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this one that's on top, take this loop and tuck these two ends through it. So it's like this. And then you're gonna take these two ends and tuck them through on this color, this side. So when you pull it tight, it will stay just like that. You wanna pull it really tight. Okay, so that's the first one and then we'll move on to the next one. So again, one goes underneath and you can alternate these if you want. So let's say this time we go this one underneath. And this one on top. And when I lay the loop on top, remember I'm gonna take this loop here 
and tuck these two of this kind of burgundy color, wine color. I'm gonna tuck those through the loop like this. And then I'm gonna take my gray and tuck them through this wine color loop on this side and pull it. And again, pull tightly. So I'm pulling at first when I pull tightly, I'm pulling both strands together and then I'm kind of doing them separately. Okay, move on to the next one. So if we're alternating, we want this one underneath. So the loop goes underneath this one. The loop goes on top tuck the wine color ones through the yellow loop like this and then take these two yellow ends and tuck them through the wine color loop and pull okay again pull both colors or both you know strands at one time and then do them separately to make sure they're really tight okay we got two more to do so this loop goes on top this one goes on the bottom okay Put these two ends through this side, put these through ends through the loop on this side, and pull. Pull both together, then pull the pieces separately. All right, looks like a spider. Um, now we're on to the last one. So this loop underneath, this loop on top, put these through, this loop, these ends through this one, and pull, just like that. All right, so now that we have that done, um, I am going to make my second one um, so that I have obviously a pair and then I'm going to come back and show you how to separate these pieces um, and trim it. So let me finish up the other one um, and then when I come back I'll show you how to um, wrap them up. Okay so now that I have um, both pieces finished up we are going to trim them up a little bit um, first and then we will um, go through and comb out the yarn and then trim them a little bit more. Um, so you might notice that I did um, basically a mirror image on this side. So the colors that I had chosen, I wanted them to match here. So I did the opposite. Um, so you can see like this rust color here and then brown and so on. Just, you know, to make the earrings match a little more, but that's completely up to you. Um, one thing that I'm gonna do is make sure that my yarn is turned the right way, this center piece, so that my earring is facing forward. Um, you might have to just use your pliers and turn the little um, eye or loop part of the ear wire, because um, like I said, you wanna make sure the earrings face the front way. Um, so, to begin, we are going to roughly trim this, um, not too short. So I'm just gonna get the bulk of these pieces off. Like this. And same on this one here. So you can start to see it's starting to look a little more little, uh, like an earring, a little less crazy. OK. 
Okay, and then this side. And then um, for the combing part, they actually sell little like macrame combs. Um, I'm literally just using a hair comb um, that is designated for this. So I'm gonna go through and you start, kind of start at the end of the yarn and work your way in. Just the same as if you were combing hair, you would start at the bottom. You wouldn't start at the root and comb out. Okay, so you can see it's starting to fluff up. Just wanna make sure that these pieces stay. Again, just combing them out. And I've tried using this with like embroidery floss before, but it just doesn't get give quite the same look. I feel like yarn, just regular yarn tends to work best. Okay. Just going over it one more time. And again, you can choose whatever colors you want. If you want this to be solid, you could certainly do that. I might have been off the screen there for a minute. And again, like I said before, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button subscribe to our channel. Um, you can follow us on social media. We do a lot of giveaways, um, the Photoshop tools, um, jewelry, gift cards, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you check that out if you don't already. If you do, thank you for following along with us. Okay, get this last little one that's hiding under here. Okay, so I'm gonna go through, tighten them up again, just to make sure everything's good. There. Tighten these one more time. So I'm just pulling both sides to make sure they're on there well. Okay, and so we're gonna do the final trim now. And to do that, I'm going to lay the um, template right on top. And I'm going to cut right along. Trying to get the ear wire out of my way here. Okay. And then let's do this side. Trying to be careful as I turn it so I don't knock the template out of place. Sharp scissors are really important with this um, just to get nice, clean cuts. missed anything here and let's see there we go okay so let me do this other one here and again I'm going to lay the template right on top making sure I had it lined up. Keep your fingers out of the way and cut right along. You could do these a different shape, really, um, you know, if you wanted to do more round instead of this kind of teardrop shape, you could. Um, 
completely up to you. are finished up um, one thing a little trick I will tell you is if you spray a little hairspray on top of these um, it will help keep them flat um, and it will help uh, just keep any of these small pieces from kind of sticking up in areas you might not want um, so I'm just gonna kind of go back and see if there's any pieces I need to trim we should be good so again, um, you can do one solid color if you prefer. Um, you could do, I'm just looking at these and it looks like this side sticks out just a little bit more. Um, one solid color if you prefer. You can change up the hardware color. Um, you can do a different shape. So a lot of variations on these. Um, and you can certainly adjust the size if you don't like them as big. So. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Um, again, make sure you guys subscribe, uh, like this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.